Showbiz TV is out tonight at the Market Theatre for the Rapid Lion South African Film Festival. Now today it's the red carpet for Catching Feelings. We'll be talking to all the stars and some of the guests that have come out in support of Catching Feelings. Mutlub Silemata, Jovic TV. Well, Rapid Lion, the South African International Film Festival, is essentially about promoting South African films to South Africans. But it's also unique in that it has a BRICS component. It's the first film festival in the world to have a BRICS component. So you get movies from Brazil, Russia, India, China, and of course South Africa. And this year we've got, we are South Africa heavy. We've got some beautiful films. We're opening with Catching Feelings today, a beautiful romantic comedy, which is also thought-provoking, you know? You, you sit there, you laugh, you remember how you fell in love, how you got jealous maybe, and what you did when you were a bit jealous. Hey, it's beautiful, right? So we want South Africans to know more about the good movies that South Africans are making. And we've got short films from around the world, which we group together to the length of a feature film. We have beautiful documentaries. We've got one documentary called uh, Late Blossom Blues. It's about, uh, you know, no, from the south of America, an 84-year-old becomes a global star. I mean, if, if, if that guy can make it at 84, you know if you really want to be somebody, you can be someone. We've got Five Fingers for Marseille. It's supposed to be a local western shot in the uh, mountains of Lusutu. Beautiful, dramatic film. We have The Recce, which is... An, so these are the local South African films that we have. We've got a story, for, a story of an egg from India. It'll crack you up. It's so funny. We've got beautiful workshops. Thanks for asking that. Uh, from Howard University in the United States, we have Professor Alonzo Crawford, who's going to be giving a master's class in screenwriting. So, VES students are coming, Eagles Academy students are coming. If you are a screenwriter out there and you feel like refreshing, come out here. That's happening on, uh, in the morning on Friday, uh, uh, the, the, the 9th. Standing with me right now is the man of the moment, the man behind Catching Feelings. How was it like directing Catching Feelings and being an actor at the same time? It was a lot of fun. I mean, I thought it would be daunting because it sounds daunting. I thought about it a lot before doing it. And then once I got to doing it, it was some, it was, it's some of the best fun I've had in a long time. Well, this film is, is a lot of fun. I mean, jokes aside, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's thought-provoking. I feel like there's so much drinking in this film as well. Not that drinking is good, but I feel like after watching this film, you will have that thirst for like a wine or whatever, a, sh a whiskey, but the, most importantly, you will want to have discussions around that wine that you're having with your friends that you went to see the movie with. You'd want to talk about it. What, what actually happened there? What are they saying about this? Wah, 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 wah. But also it's sexy. It's a lot. It's very sexy. It's very sexy. It's got pill to see. It's sexy. Standing next to me is Isaac, who's the executive producer of Catching Feelings. What did you find challenging within the process of making this film? I gotta say, uh, making a film is a really difficult thing. But of all the movies I've made, this one has been pretty easy, I think. Because Kakiso wrote such a good script, he was already attached to direct it and act in it. And people want to work with Kakiso and they like the material. So we're able to pull in Pearl, we're able to pull in Akin, and we're able to pull in Andrew Buckland and like the best of the best. We were down, you know, and then once you have that kind of team to raise the money and do all of that kind of stuff becomes so much easier. My character's name is Sam. She's married to Kajesu Ledija's character, Max. She's a journalist and she's a lovely, vibrant, uh, incredibly intelligent young woman like any woman I guess you'll find in South Africa and uh, yeah and she's going through some relationship problems and you guys get to see a window into that, yeah. And did you find anything challenging with playing this character? Um, yeah, at the time when I was shooting this, I wasn't someone to be highly emotional about uh, relationship issues. I'm a very grounded and uh, very uh, strong. So, you know, when I have to be emotional about a breakup or emotional about anything that has to do with relationships, I'm, I'm hardcore. Like, I'm cold. <laughs> Last question. Why should people come out and watch Catching Feelings? So they can know how to like catch feelings. Now I'm joking. I think everybody's going to relate to this story. A young woman, uh, a grown woman, anyone who's adventurous or trying to just navigate their way through this big city that we're living in. Um, you know, the concrete and the buildings and everything can seem overwhelming sometimes. And just to kind of navigate your way through can be quite difficult. So I think just because is about fundisa something and they can relate to what's happening in the story and maybe understand understand themselves a bit more. Now I want to know, is your character crazy? Like describe the character for us. Well he's more like a blesser. He's a rich guy 
and he's got four wives. Yeah, that's the, that's not crazy. That's normal, right? Yeah, very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I play. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, for me, it's a great love story, and it's shot perfectly in Joburg, and it's also like an, a tourism thing because they've got all these Joburg sites that they shot, and you've got also these nice cameo roles that most comedians are playing in the movie, which actually make the whole thing perfect. They tell different parts of what people go through in terms of obstacles that they encounter. That's why they should go see it. Yeah. I play a woman called Tabitha. Uh, she's a, a socialite. She's a, a kind of high flyer. And uh, she has an affair with, with Akina Motoso, uh, understandably. And <laughs> she forms kind of the, the part of the comic relief in the film. Um, and yeah, it's just a, a lovely part to play in, a, in an all-round stellar cast. Standing next to me is Ebenezer. Now, I want you to tell us more about your character. Who's your character? What does he do? But don't give too much away, obviously. You know that, right? Standing next to me is Toby Sile. The character I play in the movie Catching Feelings is a man called Ponzi Matani, the younger brother of Maximilian Matani. And how was it like being directed by Kakiso? All right, I don't know if you've seen my hair. I've said the story, I'm saying this for the third time. Yeah. 2003, I was nine years old, I was watching a show called Pure Manati Show. That show was created, produced, directed, and uh, written for a large part by this man, who plays Maximilian. A few years later, I get a call and an email saying they want me to play his younger brother. <laughs> How did it feel? How did it feel? Amazing. It felt amazing, Club Silicon. So this film uh, is very largely a black film. It is written, produced, directed, and starring black people. Um, and uh, yeah, I get we're in that movement right now. Let us carry on with it. It is a brilliant film as well. It's a dark comedy. Uh, we've never, I've never ever seen a dark rom-com, I don't think. Uh, so this is very exciting to be a part of. And most of all, most importantly, there is a gentleman in this movie, brilliant actor, up and coming homie, absolutely brilliant. I think his name is um, Ebenezer de Wakwan. It's me! I'm in the movie! You've seen all the cast members that will be starring in Catching Feelings. Of course, the Rapid Line Film Festival is still continuing from the 3rd today straight to the 10th of March. But right now, I'm going to catch feelings. <laughs>